Hello there. You know, rejection is one of the most common experiences that human beings have to a greater degree or a lesser degree, but we all do experience it. And it's actually one of the most painful experiences that we have. I don't know if you relate, but you know, that feeling of rejection, it, oh, it really sort of really gets you, doesn't it? Very quickly as well. In this video, I'm going to share with you why we experience rejection so, so deeply, why it's so common. And most importantly, I'm going to give you some really good tips on overcoming rejection. It's really important that we overcome rejection because when we do that, life can be so much better. So first of all, why do we all experience rejection? What, what is this thing? You know, if we think from a primal perspective, there was a time when we didn't want to be cast out of the tribe because we wouldn't survive. And so rejection was, gosh, a no-no. We wanted to sort of stay in favor with the tribe so that we would stay in the tribe and then we'd be, you know, we'd have our food and our shelter and we'd be safe and secure. So from a very primal level, that's why we fear rejection. And then of course, as children, we're vulnerable as babies and small children. We need to be protected by people around us. And so we fear being rejected in a, in a very innate way. And from a point of view of our relationships, when we fear rejection, we do that thing that you all know I often talk about, and that's people pleasing. Fear of rejection means that we're trying to keep other people happy and therefore we're putting our idea in our head of what we think they want from us before our own needs. When we do overcome rejection, we can have much better relationships because we're having relationships that are based on authentic communication rather than kind of putting on a mask and pretending and actually feeling a bit worried all the time. One of the interesting things about overcoming the fear of rejection in terms of your relationships is that, you know that, have you ever had that thing where it's, you have some issue with somebody and you're thinking, is it me or is it them? Are they actually really being mean? You know, are they the bad one in, in this situation? Or is it me being oversensitive? Well, if you learn to handle that well, and you learn to handle rejection well, it means that you'll be able to step back from that and you'll be able to assess that situation much better. And maybe then that problem won't be there anymore because perhaps you have been sensitive and you have been feeling rejected and now you've learned to handle it and that's great. And if that problem is still there with that person, you're able to sort of say to yourself, well, it's not me now worrying about rejection. They are still doing this thing and therefore it's them. And so you're able to suss out, is it me or is it them? And then you can make a decision about that relationship, whether you're going to talk to them about it, whether you're going to step away from the relationship, whether you're going to spend less time with that person, but you can, you can have a clear idea. So actually overcoming fear of rejection is hugely important across all areas of your life. That's why we focus on it in the Courage to Be You membership. It's, it's one of the things, the topics that we really help people to overcome, supporting each other and with my guidance as well. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to give you seven tips on how to overcome rejection so that you can just start from watching this video today, put these into practice and have a much happier life and much happier relationships. So let's do that now. The first step before you do anything else around rejection is to understand that it's a natural, normal part of life and you're not going to escape it. So doing things to try and avoid rejection is, is not gonna get you anywhere except make life more difficult for you. It's going to shrink down your experiences of life because you will be so anxious about being rejected that you won't do things that you could do. You won't have the good experiences and it's going to get in the way of your relationships, as I've said. So acceptance, if you, if you follow my work, 
you'll know that I often talk about the absolute amazing power of acceptance because once we accept that something is there, it tends to change anyway. Because we get rid of all that, I wish it wouldn't, and all that resistance, and I'm trying to get away from it thing. And actually, it loses its power. So I'd, I want you to really embrace the fact that you will be rejected from time to time. It's part of life. And it's okay, because you're going to go on now, and I'm going to tell you some more steps and way to make, ways to make that, that feeling of rejection much, much less, much less intense in your life. So the first thing I want to say then after that, after you've got to that point of, well, I am going to be rejected. I accept it. What am I going to do? So the first thing after that, I want you to remember that rejection is about the other person. It's not about you. Rejection is only about you as much as you choose to make it about you. And I want you to really think about that. It's only about you. It's only as much about you as you choose to make it about you. Rejection is something that another person does, either consciously or unconsciously. And quite often, people are not aware that they're rejecting you. you know, people are busy. We're all so busy these days. We get distracted. And so we may just sort of turn our attention to something else or somewhere else and just reject somebody without even knowing that we're doing it. So rejection is not about you. There's nothing wrong with you. You haven't done anything wrong. It's an act on their part, consciously or unconsciously. The next thing I want you to do, and this is something you can actively do, and that is to soothe your inner child. I'm often talking about that, aren't I? Soothing your inner child. Rejection is an experience that you had as a small child and you or a baby or a small child. And that was the first time you experienced it. And from there on in, every time you've experienced rejection, it's just been a replay of that experience. That little child is still there in your subconscious. And it's that little child that experiences the feeling of rejection. You know that feeling, oh, it's like a rush of energy, isn't it? It's kind of, oh, it's horrible when somebody rejects you. And actually that's that little child, that vulnerable little child. You can make that so much better by actually soothing that little child within you. You can actually give them words of love and kindness and encouragement and just speak to yourself, you know, just say to yourself, it's okay, it's fine, it's more about them, it's not about me, it's part of life. And actually you're doing well and everything's fine and you're lovable and you're worthy. Speaking to that inner child like that, you'd be surprised. It's, it really does empower you. And the more you do that, the less it gets to you when people reject you because you're feeling so much better. Of course, the opposite to that, and that's the fourth step, is learn not to reject yourself. Because if you're constantly criticizing yourself and being mean to yourself, you know that inner critic. I've got other videos on this. And I'll link to those so you can watch those too. But you know that inner critic, that mean voice, that putting yourself down, it's just going to knock your confidence, isn't it? And if you're not feeling very confident and somebody just happens to say something or do something that rejects you, it's going to feel 10 times worse than if you're feeling confident. That leads me on to the next step. Get to know yourself really well. And again, we're back to the Courage to Be You membership. We've got a lot of that going on in there. Get to know yourself really well, because the more you know yourself, the more confident you feel in yourself. And then if somebody has an opinion about you or something that you are doing, it's usually more about what you do that they're rejecting. It's not you as a person. But if they have an opinion about that or their opinion about something or they make a comment or it doesn't, you know, it's not their, their way of looking at it is different to yours. You won't feel so rejected because you'll know yourself so well. You'll feel kind of confident and firm in yourself. You'll know 
well, this is me. These are my values. This is what I stand for. And I'm quite happy with that. And if this other person doesn't see it that way, that's just their opinion and their values. So you won't be feeling rejected. You'll just be confidently able to see that you are coming from different places. And the sixth step here is to communicate with that person. If possible, it's not always possible, but if you feel you can, and again, back to the membership, we have great communication tips in there. But if you feel you can, communicate with that person because as I said in our second tip, they may be busy, they may be distracted, they may not even realize that they're rejecting you. And if you are able to have a conversation with them, not in the middle of being rejected and feeling upset, at other times when things are calm and you're feeling positive, if you can have that conversation and say, you know, that thing you say or that thing you do, it kind of hurts my feelings or it makes me feel a bit rejected. And I just wanted to share with you that, you know, that, that that's what it is, because I, I, I thought perhaps you weren't aware of it. If you can do that, that that can make a huge difference because then that person will realize what they're doing and they won't be doing it so much anymore. And if they do, and they do kick up a fuss about it, well, maybe it's time to think about that relationship. Maybe they'll kick up a fuss and be a bit upset about it and get a bit defensive for a little while because they're, they're feeling rejected. So give them a bit of time. But if, it, if, if they can't hear you overall, over time, then perhaps that's something to think about that relationship. It comes back to that, is it me or is it them thing, doesn't it? But if you can communicate with them, do so because they may well not be aware that they're rejecting you. And then the last thing I want to say about this fear of rejection thing is recognize the rejection and managing rejection and the things that I've been sharing with you today and I share in my books and the membership and so on. This is learning and growing. This is your personal development. This is you becoming a wiser person. And this is what we're here for. It's all part of the journey to evolve. So rejection is just a lesson. It's like life is one big school of wisdom. And when you get rejected, there's a kind of a lesson there. It's kind of like, well, oh, what can I learn from this? And what does this say about me, my confidence, where I'm at, you know, my, my personal development skills? What can I do to change my communication, my understanding of relationships? It gives you an opportunity to learn and, and grow and, and to become the wise person that you are becoming every single day of your life. So I wanna say thank you for showing up today, not just for me, I want to say thank you for showing up for you and watching this video, because I know that the more personal development you do, the happier you'll be, and that makes me happy. So if you like this video, do hit the thumbs up like button, that way more people will see it and you'll be helping me to help them and then everybody grows. And do subscribe so you'll know when I've got new videos coming up. It's great to share this time with you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.